So hey guys, what's up? Here's Nikoli Koli. And today I'm going to teach you how to create character triplet effect inspired by Anbu visuals. This tutorial was requested by Honey Beer. For this tutorial, you are gonna be needing a plugin called Twitch and RSMB. Now let me tell you guys that I'm not going to do everything he did on the team. I'm just going to teach you the basic effect. Here is what I made. This tutorial is big and can be hard to follow. So the link to project file and my script is in description. Here in my composition, I just have a clip. And I've also marked where I want the effect to come in. Firstly, copy and paste the clip above itself and mask out the character. After that, press M to see the mask and change the mask feather to 1. Now copy the mask clip and paste it above itself 2 times. Now select the upper mouse clip, press M and change the mask expansion to minus 2. Now go to the marker. Select the second clip and press P to see the position panel. Right click on it and separate dimensions. Now animate X position. Go 14 frames ahead and adjust the character according to your need. Now select the keyframes, press F9 to easy them, go to the graph editor and follow me. Now do the same for the clip below it, except this time you need to adjust the character to the other side. Now select all the clips and pre-compose them with these settings. Press S to open up the scale panel and click the stopwatch on the first frame. Now go to the beat and add a keyframe and change its value to 200. Now get 10 frames back from the beat and change the value to 100. After that, go 10 frames forward from the beat and change its value to 102. At last, go to the last frame and change its value to 100. Now select the keyframes, press F9 to easy them, go to the graph editor and follow me. Yeah, I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies. They're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy. You gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. You ain't seen the rest. I just wanna be the best at what I know. Now press R to open up the rotation panel and click the stopwatch on the first frame and change its value to 3. Now go to the beat and change its value to minus 7. Now go 12 frames forward from the beat and change its value to 0. At last go to the last frame and change its value to 1. Now select the keyframes, press F9 to easy them, go to the graph editor and follow me. Now add Twitch to the beat. You can either watch my Twitch tutorial or my Koshik tutorial to see how I add Twitch. Both will be in the description below or will appear at i button at top right corner. 
Now add an adjustment layer and add warp to it. After that change the warp style to fish eye and bend to zero. Now go to the beat and animate bend. Now go 5 frames back from the beat and add a keyframe. Now go 5 frames forward from the beat and add one more keyframe. Now change the value of the keyframe which is on the beat to minus 50. Now select the keyframes, press F9 to easy them, go to the graph editor and follow me. At last you can add RSMB. For that just select everything except the audio layer and pre-compose them with these settings. After that add RSMB to it and don't change any settings. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any tutorial request or any idea for the content then you can comment it down below. Check out my other tutorials and enemies. If this video helps you then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Stay home. Stay safe, see you in the next video, Neko signing out.